Thank you for joining us this week, our daily manna. We're so glad you came back to watch us. We've had a little hiatus here and haven't had some fresh new stuff for a few weeks. Uh, but in that course of time, we remodeled our, our uh, uh, studio here, and we hope you like the look a little bit better. But I'm here to teach God's Word today, to give you a little word from God. This week, we're going to be talking about working in the vineyard of God. I want you to go back to Sunday and watch the, watch the video from uh, Coffee with the Bishop about uh, working in God's vineyard. Now hiring is the title of that, now hiring. But today, I want to talk about how you work in the vineyard of God. How are you going to do those type of things? And one of, the, one of the greatest things about serving God is that you don't have to wait on payday. Your payday isn't way far over there when you die and get to heaven. There's a payday every day that you live in God's kingdom. Mark 9 and 41, I tell you the truth, if anyone who gives you a cup of water in my name because you belong to Christ, he's going, not going to lose his reward. We are rewarded both in this life and the life to come for every single good deed and good act for others that we do. Now, Mark 10 and 29 shows how that we reap the blessings of God. Mark 10 and 29, I tell you the truth, Jesus replied, No one who's left his home of brothers or sisters or mother, father, children, or fields or me for the gospel's sake will fail to receive a hundred times as much in this present age, homes, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, and fields, and with them persecutions in the age to come, also eternal life. So he's saying that whatever you do, whatever you do in this life, even so much as a little bitty cup of coffee, water, whatever it is, you're going to receive a reward. God will bless you for that. If you go down and volunteer at the, at the food bank, if you go down and volunteer at the homeless shelter, if you go down and volunteer at the hospital, if you volunteer in your church, if you help do anything, if, if you teach Bible studies, if you just go out witnessing to people, every day that we work in the vineyard, we store up treasures in eternal life with Jesus, but we also building up a blessing for this life. And then we receive exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or even imagine. So let's talk about being a witness Let's talk about being a witness. Acts 1 and 8 said that when we receive the Holy Ghost, when the Holy Ghost comes upon us, when we receive that, that we become witnesses. And it goes on, says, to Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, the uttermost parts of the earth, is what it says. We become witnesses. He gives us the power to give our testimony. So what, what can you do Above all things, you say, well, I really can't do much. Yes, you can. You have a testimony. God's done something in your life that you can tell others about. No, that's not bragging. That's testifying. Maybe you got sick and God healed you. Maybe you were in dire need and God provided the way to meet that need. Maybe something in your life that happened that was just miraculous that God did. You said, oh, Bishop, I, I can't think of hardly anything that God's done for me other than just took care of my daily need. Well, then tell people he took care of your daily needs. That's all it takes, just telling people the goodness of God and how he's given you peace and joy. And, and if you can't find anything, borrow a testimony from somebody. Hey, I know Brother Jim over at church, you know, he, was in, he really was bound by alcohol and drugs and all this kind of stuff, and God set him free, and he's working for God and, and doing great things for God now and never had any more problem with it. Yeah, use somebody else's testimony to talk to God and tell them how good God is. If you come up to somebody that's sick, testify about somebody that you know that God healed the sickness. Amen. That's your testimony. Use your testimony to work in God's kingdom. I'm going to pray. Father, I want to thank you today for my viewers. I thank you, God, that 
they're watching today, but I, I pray that as they step out to work in your vineyard, they could use their testimony as a witness, use their testimony uh, to help others and strengthen others and bring them closer to you. Let that be part of their work in your kingdom. I ask this in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Remember with God, all things are possible.